I'm going to get started first off by just drawing uh, the room. So first off, let's just draw the floor. And then so we're here, uh, we're going to have to do the offset with the F key. I can see that here on the back, we will have a window later on that we will need to add on. And then there's going to be another one right there. And now I'm just going to make this probably at the height of something around 320 centimeters. And now I will go ahead and draw a rectangle with something like this. Uh, try to cover it up like the whole ceiling. But in order to actually be able to model a lot better, I'm going to go ahead and tools here in SketchUp. Use a section plane from the top all the way to where we can actually see the inside and where the ceiling doesn't interrupt us. And then on this side, we'll need to model some of the basin elements. And now I will go ahead and use the arc tool right here because there are rounded corners in the actual object that we have. So I'm gonna go on this side. Every single time I try to use the flip along tool, I always end up using the wrong axis and I'm never used to remembering which axis is which color. So. Anyway, I'm going to do this somewhere around probably 65 centimeters. Sinks, basins, whatever you want to call them over here. So something like this and then another one over here. It seems like this is just way too big. So I'm going to make this a group. I'm going to use the S for scale and then I will make it a lot smaller on both sides. And then we'll need to make the same thing uh, with the wall here is I'll go ahead and draw the mirror the same way that I have here on the reference image. So as you can see right here, we have kind of an irregular mirror which is completely fine because we can draw that pretty easily uh, with the hand draw tool in uh, SketchUp. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, freehand tool. It has something similar of this shape, um, maybe not as irregular. So maybe I'll just cut this part off and then delete the surface completely, 1.5 centimeters. And now I can offset this because there's going to be a different material on here in the edges. Now we will also need to use these two lights on the side. And then the other one is going to be on the other side. I'm just going to move this up 1.2 centimeters and then another 1.2 centimeters. And now I'm just going to move all of these elements 1.2 centimeters upwards. Maybe I go ahead and open the Enscape window right now. And then we can uh, set up the first composition. I'm going to go ahead and use another section plane. I'm going to go ahead and just use the field of view that is much lower. Use the rendering quality ultra. And other than that, I'm just going to try and find a good angle. Composition, you can always go to the video editor right here. Use show grid lines. And then these will serve kind of as guidelines on how well you're positioning your whole model and all that. So now I'm going to go to camera, create view, and I'm going to type in view one. Uh, 16 by 9 because that is the aspect ratio of this so i'm going to go ahead and turn off the sun brightness completely because later on we're going to see how we can use some fake lighting in order to make the whole rendering look much more realistic a little bit of division between some of the cupboards or uh, cabinets that we will have here sometimes as you can see this part right here uh, it is tricky to model, especially on the angles. So let me just scroll down so beams. Let me just download this and see how this will look over here. So if I just put this here, obviously this is just way too big right now, but maybe let's try 40. First off, I'm going to apply some kind of uh, industrial flooring. I can do that kind of using this concrete and making the changes in the colors of it, maybe making it a little bit more beige. Now, this is uh, way too harsh and way too dark. So I can go ahead here and make some changes, make this even brighter. So something like this can work. And then something else that can definitely help along is if you go to the Enscape Material Editor and I choose it right now, I can use the Image Fade option. I can go a little bit upwards and uh, kind of fade it back to something like this. Uh, maybe something like this can work. So let me just try this out. Maybe I can just download this as a 2K texture or maybe let's just go for 4K. I think the computer can handle it. So I'm going to get the color of it, click OK, and now I'm going to go ahead and apply this texture onto our walls. I'm going to go ahead and apply the displacement map or normal map of it, and then the roughness map as well. Maybe the roughness, I will try to make it uh, manually. Now this is way too much, so I'm going to go for 0 0.5. I'll just make this something like 40, and then uh, we will try and add a tint to it. So let me just make this a lot uh, more onto here. This is way too much. Uh, this needs to be a lot warmer as well. Something like this. I think this is kind of close to what we have here. Uh, it, it is a bit warmer on this image, especially the floor. 
but we can fix the floor later on but i think as far as the wall goes is looking very good and then other than that i'm gonna go ahead and try to tweak the flooring as well a bit so i'm gonna go with the advanced tab here and keep it something like this i'm gonna go here in model go to glass and mirrors obviously we all know that real-time rendering engines do not have the highest quality mirrors but we're gonna try and see what we can make out of it let me just check if this one is good actually uh, so i'm gonna apply it okay this is much 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 better uh, now let's go and use the line tool go upwards and on the inside click the center of it and just move it there now let's just go over here 4x that one material now in order to have the lighting come in better i'm going to use the beam angle as high as possible and this is just way too much so maybe something like this however we do need to add some lighting on these lamps as well so i'm going to go ahead here in the nsk material editor i'm going to select these i will go ahead and apply a color on top of them so let's just use something like this and on the other side as well let's go to self illuminated and as you can see these are kind of turned on right now we do not need them as much intensity as they had now and then now we can just go ahead and add a sphere light on these which will be very 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 soft because it's very daytime and uh, harsh lighting will just look very very fake so i'm gonna go ahead and in the sky i'm gonna go to skybox skybox from file and i'm gonna import an azure eye by the way i do tell people all the time to use azure eyes and i think a lot of you are applying them uh, however if you do not know what azure eyes are they're basically images taken from the real world which i uh, use real life lighting in order to apply onto the renders and as you can see right here our render has improved quite a bit go ahead in the asset library let's go to vegetation and try to find some interior plants now i'm going to go and scroll down just a little bit i'm gonna drink a bit of water something like this can work here let me try and use three different plants with three different heights maybe i keep this more to the right something like this the thing is this part is very 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 dark i will select the material i'll go to nsk material editor i will go to something like this uh, metallic up to the max and then roughness all the way down i'm gonna play around a little bit with the visual settings so i can use auto contrast that is fine for now the saturation i can leave it a bit lower maybe 98 percent and then color temperature colder maybe i keep the saturation higher and then try to balance it with the color temperature so something like this i usually leave all of these off except the vignette but let's just leave let's flare on this one on and then for the atmosphere settings shadow sharpness all the way down so i'm going to copy this i'm going to move it i will rotate it so this is exactly what is happening on the image over here the mirror can definitely look better <laughs> ours looks way too rough on the edges this one has a bit uh, better curves and all that and then i think these lights uh these wall lights look a bit too harsh we can add some accessories here and we can add the towel there and then we will be pretty much done and yeah this is definitely much better than what we had let's go ahead and try and find a towel in the 3d warehouse i'm gonna take this and place it right over there uh, now what we can do here i'm going to go ahead in the sketch warehouse and i'm going to type in bathroom accessories let's just load this up i will keep this on the side here this does work well i believe so let me just make this smaller i think it will look better on this side because it will be more balanced because we already have something going on over there and i will take the image as it is right now by the way if you do not use enscape and you don't know how fast it actually works you can see right now that the image was done in seconds and then uh, other than that make sure to check out the 14 day realistic rendering program as well i have helped hundreds of people there go from zero to 100 in just 14 days with sketchup and enscape thank you everyone once again and i will see you on to the next one